Welcome back to another video of Guild Wars 1 in 2024. Here we are playing Fort Asmodeus on the Persic side, and I'm playing as a avatar of Lisa Dervish. So Dervish is probably one of my least played classes, although it's very powerful in both PvE and PvP. So avatar of Lisa, what it allows me to do is my enchantments recharge 50% faster, and also whenever an enchantment ends, I steal one energy from all nearby foes. So my Skill number one is Harrier's Grasp, so this allows me to cripple moving targets and also relieve myself of conditions. I only really have one attack skill, which is Aura Slicer, that's skill number three, so this will provide leading as well as cracked armor. Then for some quick attack, I have Heart of Fury, I have Lisa's Haste, and this provides an interrupt. I have Mirage Cloak which will give me a 75% chance to block. I have Fleeting Stability for a speed boost, which with Avatar of Lisa I can keep up 100% of the time. And then to help me survive a little bit longer, I have Mystic Regeneration. So for each enchantment on me, I'll gain plus 3 health regeneration. So you could use this build to clear shrines and run Amber. I could also use this to kill enemies. Overall, this is a pretty balanced build in Fort Aston Wood. It can do a lot of different roles. Here I'm going to focus on uh, this gate and go ahead and try to push these players back. And if I have Fleeting Stability up, this will allow me to prevent knockdowns from Gale, like I did right there also from an elite light like lightning surge now with backfire on me this kind of prevents me from casting any spells enchantments that i have i decided to run back a little bit and take out this element this And for the cripple to actually trigger with Harrier's Grasp, the target does have to be moved. See here though, with the healers on my team, we're doing a pretty good job of keeping this side protected. And with all these warriors balled up, it's a good idea to try to use my scythe to take them out. There we hit for 123 damage with that critical attack. You can see that I interrupted his phantom pain using that Lisa's face there as well. Now I'll go ahead and run back and try to run this Amber. <clears throat> so mainly I'm running with my Vampiric Scythe here. It's not really necessary to run a Zealous Scythe. Your energy management should not be a problem since you have Avatar of Lisa. Again, every time an enchantment is ends, you'll steal one energy from each nearby foe. Very spammable, even though I only have 25 energy, I can just keep on spamming all of my enchantments. Again, another nice interrupt by Lisa's Haste. Very easy, it's a flash enchantment, so it's a 
very quick interrupt. As long as I'm standing nearby the target. Mirage Cloak 2, besides providing me with defense, it also does some damage to the foes nearby. Nice healing there by my team. They have some pretty strong pressure. They're targeting me pretty heavily here. I do have Spirit Light Weapon on me. It's a very powerful Richless skill. keep Avatar of Lisa up 24 7. However, just when you recast it, you want to be careful not to get interrupted. It does have a little bit of a recharge time to it. There I tried to switch to my spear and hit the warrior while he was moving for Harrier's Grasp to trigger. It's always an option too, you don't have to hit them with your sight. You can always hit them with a spear or a bow, something at range. Fleeting stability there could have prevented that knockdown. It's important to try to keep it up, and you can keep up fleeting stability again 24 7 as long as you have Avatar Lisa. It will half the recharge of all your enchantments. Here they have broken through the green gate, so I decided to kind of fall back and make sure we can take out this player before he kills any more of our NPCs. Thank <laughs> you. 
see God's Vengeance now is nearing 100%. So it looks like our team will have the win. So I decided to dance a little bit. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Cheers.